Mr. Wick. Mr. Wick. It's fantastic to see you this evening. What brings you to my office? Okay, I think I understand. You're looking for some firepower. Well, you've come to the right place. I can help you with all of that. Absolutely. I've got everything you could possibly ever need. From 9mm all the way up to 308 and beyond. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Your manager tells me that you're not feeling too well. Okay. Well, I can take a look at that for you. How about we knock out two birds with one stone? Or one round, however you want to put it. Well, that works for me if it works for you. We'll get to the firearms soon enough. First, I want to go ahead and take a listen to your lungs to see if your breathing's okay. I know you were wearing a vest much like this one. Yesterday when you were shot with that slug. And I've been hearing tales that you've been having a hard time breathing, which is understandable. Your chest absorb, but let's go ahead and take a listen here. See what it's all sounding like. Okay. <laughs> if you don't mind, just move your shirt to the side for me. Thank you. And we'll go ahead and take a listen. And just breathe. Take a deep breath in for me, if you don't mind. All the way. That's it. Great. And let's do the same thing over on this side. Deep breath in. All the way. That is going to be a bruised lung, but on the upside, it should only take a couple days to get to where you're feeling a little better. You can breathe more normally. Um, so, other than that, how's everything feeling? Feeling okay? Me? Oh, I'm wonderful. Yeah, I'm wonderful. I actually have quite a few weapons for you to look at today. Um, let's go ahead and test your vision first. Manager tells me that you're needing a little bit of a exam. You trust me as your sommelier to make sure that these firearms are not loaded when I'm pointing them at you, but it's going to require me to point them at you for this examination. This one at least. So, what we have here is a SIG B365XL in 9mm, equipped with a 6 hour red dot and a Streamlight flashlight. This is a, I believe, 12 round magazine. You probably do have the extended versions of that, obviously. And on this side, we have a Glock 45, which could be confused as a 45 caliber firearm, but this is a 9mm. 45 is just the model. This is equipped with a Streamlight TLR 7A. This is a TLR 7 sub. And on top, we have a primary arms red dot. We're just trying it out. Don't shoot the messengers. Um, but what I want to do is test your vision, okay, and see if your eyes are picking up these lights, okay? So, first off, let me know which light you see is bright. This light, or this light? Okay. So this one's a little bit brighter. I think I need to change the batteries on this one. Good to know. Okay. We'll 
use the dimmer light for this test. I don't want to hurt your eyes any more than I need to. And for that, the Glock 45 is our winner. Seventeen rounds. Hydra shock. Really good stuff. So I'm gonna cover your right eye, and you just follow the light with your eyes only. your left eye, same thing. Up and down. 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 Okay, now what I need you to do is just focus here on my nose, okay? Ignore my light. down this eyelid, pulling it down, look up to the ceiling, look up to the ceiling, look up to the ceiling, look up, 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 and look down, look down to the floor, now look down to the floor, down to the floor, good. This light just turns on when it wants to, I swear. Okay, so what I need you to do now, okay, I'm gonna pull out a few weapons. I'll explain them while you also proceed with this medical examination. So. We have our M4 variant, AR variant. Okay, so what I need you to do is just point to which one is the AR, which one is the AK, okay? You ready?
tell me, with your eyes closed, which magazine is polymer and which magazine is steel? This is the polymer magazine. Listen closely. And this one's the steel. Yeah, the steel is a little bit higher pitched. Polymer. Steel. Okay, eyes closed. I heard that your hearing was affected in that uh, gunfight. You need to wear ear pro. I actually have some I can show you briefly, but let's go ahead and do this test first. Steel or polymer. Steel or polymer? Good. Steel or polymer? Good. Steel or polymer? Good. Steel or polymer? Good. I tricked you that time. That was both. Steel or polymer? Steel or polymer? Good. Let me know when you can no longer hear this sound. Good. Let me know when you can no longer hear this sound. Very good. these off to the side real quick. Okay, so what we're going to do now, simple test, more or less the same as that one. Let's go ahead and take our magazines out. Clear safe. Magazine out. Clear safe. this sound here. That's the SIG B365XL, yes. Glock. SIG. Glock. SIG. Very similar. Okay, I need you to close your eyes though and try to discern the difference between the two and tell me which one you hear and in which ear. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Close your eyes. Which one was that? Again. Good. See, you can tell the difference when I do it side to side. Eyes closed. You shouldn't be able to see this light through your eyes being closed, but I'm gonna click this light to switch. Okay, it sounds like this. Okay. Tell me how many clicks you hear and in which ear. Okay, okay. Again, eyes closed.
Good. Very good. Very, very good, Mr. Wick. Very good. Okay. Tested your eyes and your ears. I don't really know how we can do taste. We're not going to miss that part. Smell. We can definitely. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I have one rifle that is very clean, recently cleaned, yeah. And another rifle that's got a ton of carbon buildup that's gonna smell like carbon and lead. Yeah, probably not great for you, but we're just gonna knock quick dust out, okay? I need you to tell me which one smells clean, which one smells like carbon buildup. Okay. This is recently clean, so I'm going to have you take a big smell of the, of the chamber, okay? Here we go. Sun box optic and a SAI one to six. Very good gun. But very dirty as well. Take a whiff of this one. you to tell me which one smells like carbon and which one smells clean. Okay. Eyes closed. No cheating. Okay. Here we go. That one smells like carbon buildup, correct? Eyes closed. Keep
Actually, I want to keep this one down here. Yeah. We might actually lend you this one for the next mission. Eyes closed. Yep, that one's clean. Good job. Beautiful work, Mr. Whip. Beautiful work. you think you're interested in pro probably using this special purpose rifle on your next mission. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you one bit. I would probably I'd like to use the same rifle. This is a wonderful rifle. But let me try to sell you on something. Very, very compact, very powerful workhorse of a rifle. This is a, I believe, 12 and a half inch barrel equipped with a Surefire X300 weapon light. Seen on the front here. as well as a you're telling me is you're going into a secluded area behind enemy lines where you need to blend in with the populace and showing up with a bunch of PMAX and American made parts and accessories are going to give you away pretty quickly so we elected to go with steel max to hide your overall signature in these countries Moreover, we have an EOTech on top. It's also, yeah, I think it's EXPS 3, so it's got a night vision mode as well. And a 
just overall wonderful rifle. But the coolest thing about this rifle is this key mod 360 muzzle brake at the end. So let me show you what we're going to do. it on our AK to make it much more quiet. And as you can see, thing about this rifle is that we have a KPS, I believe, adjustable gas piston so that when we shoot this firearm, it recoils very soft. Feeding is very consistent, which can be a problem on AKs if you don't properly cast them. So, what do you think? As my old desk is trying to fall over because I have too much stuff on it. What happens? Anyway, what do you think about this rifle? Think it's good to go? Wonderful. Okay. I will get you kitted with this right away. Let's go ahead and place this back on our rack. What's that? Oh no, we built you your very own exactly like this. I can't, this is mine. It's already got my fingerprints and stuff on it. The guys in the shop will build you this though. It'll be just the same. We can even paint it the exact same if you want. Good old spray. Here is a Team Wendy carbon helmet. This is a step up from their bump, but still not ballistic rated by any means. So don't go get shot at, okay? It's gonna add a little bit more rigidity to the helmet so that your night vision doesn't flop around and you don't feel like you're wearing a toy on your head. Our lens cover fell off. It's okay though, we don't need them. What we have on this helmet is a pair of Comtac 5s made by Bellator. Very good headset equipped with a single lead as well as a microphone here to get nice and quiet when you're running your stat comps and whatnot. I imagine you'll have this plugged up to your iPhone because that's how you roll Mr. Wit. Also,
these goggles are very easy to use, okay? On the front here, you have your focus rings. And what these do are, depending on if you have trouble seeing one or the other, you can adjust the focus on each tube specifically to create the best vision for yourself. I do recommend you use the stop adjustments though because you don't want to bump them in the field and have a hard time seeing what you're doing. On the back, we have adjustments as well for your optical range. These are articulating, so when you bring them down from the power position, they'll be on automatically. When you raise them like this, they'll cut off automatically. So off, on, off, on. Additionally, these have a infrared feature that is equipped by pulling this knob here out, twisting it to the left. That'll emit an infrared light that helps you see in the room under night visions. Okay. All the way to the right, power's off. Bada bing, bada boom. Very simple to use. Do you have any questions, Mr. Wick? No? Okay. Well, my friend, it's been great to check you today. I hope you're feeling a little bit better than you were when you came in. And I apologize for my unorthodox means of testing your vision, hearing, sense of smell. Next time I'll have better medical equipment, but I'm glad we were able to get you kitted regardless of your next mission. Any further questions? Got it? Okay, good deal. All right, Mr. Wick, well, be safe out there, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.